Today in this video, we are going to see how to create a Freighter account in the GCP. Now, open any one of the browser and search Google Cloud in the search bar. I am going with the Chrome browser. Now, after searching like this, you are going to get the first link as Google Cloud or Google Cloud platform like that you are going to get. After getting like this, click on the first link. So now it is going to ask you for the get started is there no click on the get started for the free here here for the first time if you are logging to the browser okay browser for the web browser I am logging for the first time so it is going to ask my email uh, and uh, password for the uh, logging uh, logging for the browser okay now here I am going to provide my email ID uh, which I want to use it for gcp also okay by default which mail you have uh, log uh, used for the uh, web browser that mail only going to appear here if already if you are signing or if you are a new user for the this web browser it means i was the new for this uh, chrome recently i was installed so for that it is going to ask me for the sign in okay here I am going to provide my email id and along with the password and click on the next button. Now whatever the mail here it is showing that mail id only you are going to use it for the gcp also. Or if you want to change the mail id you can change the mail id by clicking the switch account. After uh, once your uh, email id was uh, ok for you then click uh, then select your country from which country you are you select your country and click on the agree and continue then after that it is going to ask you to provide payment profile along with the payment method ok here you need to provide your payment profile in the payment profile here for you what it is going to show is it is going to show you create a new payment profile will be there click on that so after clicking the create a payment profile there all the required details you have to fill it okay you fill it all the requirement required details what is needed here so in the place of organization name whatever you place in the place of organization name that it is going to appears on the payment profile page okay so uh, you can keep your name also no issue there you can keep it the your name in the organization name place okay and then click on the down bottom you can see the create button is there after giving all the required details you please click on the bottom create button then your payment profile page is created it means uh, your data will be filled then your unique id will be assigned for you for example if i show for example if you see here in my payment profile what is happening here some id was created no like this they are going to assign you the id next you have to add your payment method here we need to add your credit card or debit card or you can go with the many options are there if you click on this here you can go with any one of these option if you want okay let us take I am going with my credit card so you can go with the credit card. Now it is going to ask you the required details related to your card. You have to provide your card and OTP is going to come for you. You have to give the OTP. Okay. So once you uh, um, selected your payment and after completion of your entering your card details. Now click on the start free trial at the bottom of the page now it is going to ask you to enter the OTP ok now click on the verify then it is going to direct you to the payment page now we need to send the OTP OT, uh, whatever the OTP we got that OTP we need to enter for the confirm so here it is going to charge only 2 rupees ok it is going to charge only Two rupees for you. So if you enter the OTP, the two rupees will be 
debited from your account. After completion of entering of your OTP, click on the confirm. It will take two minutes. Now it was completed. Now here it is asking some more details. Now here we need to select business idea. We need to select next. Here you need to select. So you can click uh, uh, any one of this for example if I keep other I am going to keep you have to specify the reason and um, here what are interested in the doing with the Google Cloud you can go with any one of the option or you can simply uh, click on like uh, other you can keep no issue so whatever what best describes your role my role is you can also specify here other issue then now if you see here here my account was successfully created okay now here my successfully created my account if you see here it is going to offer me how much of free credit it is going to offer me the uh, free credit of 25,700 rupees it is going to offer okay how when it is going to expire it is going to expire after 90 days it means it is going to come at july 20 25 5th it was showing now today's date was 2025 fourth month fifth okay now they given me a 90 days time for me to use this free trade okay so in this video we have seen how to create the free tier account in the next video we are going to see how to use this free tier account okay here very important point here the down it is showing the activate for the full account is the right it is going to show here it is going to show activate the full account is there no that is very important point uh, where uh, you need to be conscious why because uh, if you click on the activate full account then what is going to happen is from uh, there it is going to activate your full account it means it is going to uh, debit the amount from your card also okay whatever the payment option you have taken that payment option is uh, having the auto pay thing it is if once if you activate the full account it is going to auto debit from your account okay whatever the resources you have used for that the charges will be debited from your account okay so while you are using the free rail that time you have this 25,000 credits is there 25,000 credits is there this 25,000 credits you can use it okay for your free trail while you are going with the free trail only limited services are they are going to offer you so um, so that you can practice that limited services only okay once if you completed the free trail account it means if once it was uh, if you completed the 25,000 if you complete all these then there is no uh, chance to auto activate full account okay you don't worry about it it won't activate auto automatically okay you don't worry about it okay you have to manually activate your full account okay no issues about it okay or uh, for example if all your credits was completed zero then automatically it won't allow you to as i shown you this document right in the previous video which is nothing but a google cloud free program document as i shown you in the previous video now why i am showing this here is uh, if you want to activate your full account uh, please go through this document and read this entire document what here they have mentioned like uh, uh, account a full to sorry activate a full okay how to activate and uh, uh, if you activate what are the 
things you need to be aware that and all they have mentioned here so please go through this uh, uh, documentation before activating fully for the practicing purpose you just enough the free trail free trail is more than enough for the practicing on hands on so when you are working on the industry aspect there you need to activate and uh, there you need to use all the resources okay but now for the practicing purpose hands on only limited services is needed for that limited services uh, free trial is there you can go with that okay so and the next important thing what you have to remember is uh, there will be a doubt like um, i'll show you if all my credits was completed let us take if all my credits was completed 20 25000 credits which they have uh, uh, given for you uh, in the free trail account if all this was completed then what happened will it is going to auto activate my account fully no it won't allow sorry it won't um, uh, auto activate your account you need to manually activate your full account okay don't worry about it if you see here if you not to choose they only mentioned in the document clearly if you choose not to activate a full account then when the free trial is going to end the billing is going to disable on your projects okay don't worry uh, somewhere uh, also they have mentioned like if all your credit was completed then what is going to happen i'll show you see now if you see here what they have mentioned when the free trial is going to and so when the federal is going to end this as we told that if you completed all your credits all your free trade credits was completed then what is going to happen here if you see here what they have mentioned the free trail ends when you use all your credits whatever the credits they have given if you use all these free trail credits uh, 25,000 if you completed means then automatically the free trail going to end up after that you need to manually activate your full account okay i need to activate your full account so be careful with this so be careful with activating a full account so while you're activating the full account please come to the google cloud portal and then open the documentation and read all this google cloud free program documentation here they are going to tell how to activate and all what are the terms and conditions and all please go through this why i am telling this much of times is because these are related to your amount it means related to your count so be careful with your amount okay so thank you